give us your best karaoke experience. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier, from the chandelier. Hi you guys, I'm Tahila Tashani aka Sunflower. I'm a singer, songwriter, author, playwright, I'm a lot of things, law student, and this is not so secret. Okay, so my first question. Would you rather lose an arm or a leg? A leg, a leg. I would rather lose a leg, yeah, definitely. What is the best way to wake up? Um, the best way to wake up. The best way to wake up. That is a good question. What is the best way to wake up? I think with peace of mind, for me, that if that makes sense. With peace of mind, that is the best way to wake up for me, if that makes sense. What's the best prank you've seen played on somebody? I don't know. I'm black. I don't really, I'm not around people <laughs> who do pranks. Um, do you keep in touch with your exes? No. No, I don't keep in touch with my exes. What fitness craze, popular TV show, or other cultural phenomenon do you not understand? I don't know. I feel like I feel like I find meaning in basically everything, if that makes sense. So I feel like I understand pretty much pretty much all of it. So I, I maybe I'd need time to like really think of that uh, about that. Okay, truth. Did you ever have a ridiculous goal in life? No, actually, I've never had a ridiculous goal in life. Everything's just, I don't know, everything's been adding up. I feel for other people though, when I was younger, I did say I wanted to be a singer and that was apparently ridiculous because of where I am. And I wanted to do study uh, psychology. So again, for other people that was considered ridiculous, but to me, no. So. What road trip would you love to take? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Any any road trip, as long as I'm with my friends or with Bay, but somewhere with water, somewhere with water, somewhere where I can just relax and eat. So yeah. Do you have a mantra or a saying that gets you through difficult times? Yes, I do. And I recently discovered it and it says um, the saying, not really the mantra. It says, when things don't work out, just say plot twist and move on. So I found that because I just went through some like disappointing things. So plot twist and we move. What moment from your life would you love to relive? Huh. I don't know, I don't know. I honestly don't know what moment would I love to relive. It's funny, when I sit, I, I actually know the answers to these questions, but when it's like this, I, oh my gosh, what moment would I love to relive? I think the moment's yet to come, the moment's yet to come, but quick answer would be something with my dad. Yeah, mm. playing wrestling with my dad when I was young, I would actually love to relive that, if that's not weird. Which do you crave the most, stability or adventure? Stability, stability. What challenging experiences have you have made you stronger? Oh, this is really personal. Um, I think a lot has happened, but basically being able to, um, having a spiritual awakening, that's one. Being able to be, being empathetic, that has made me strong because um, being an empath means you can basically feel people's emotions. You understand uh, people to some degree, especially emotionally. So dealing with that, it's it's quite it's quite a lot because you also have to learn how to put yourself first. And I normally put others first and then put myself. So yeah, those have made me stronger in the weirdest ways and just life experiences that I can't really go into detail with. But oh, relationships don't date. That's all I'm gonna say. One day I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Have you ever been arrested? Not yet. I mean, no. No. Um, what is the most important thing you've learned from your parents? 
oh i can say this one thing always tell people when you're proud of them yeah that that's something always when somebody's done something good ma make it known how would you describe your relationship with your family <laughs> it's interesting definitely interesting um uh, i don't know guys it's 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 a lot if you won the lottery would you still work yes 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 i would why because i'm a workaholic and every, the money i would win would go into different investments and stuff like that so yes i would, I would still work what is your ideal vacation staying at an all-inclusive resort in dubai sightseeing in london or camping at a national park i want to say staying at an all-inclusive resort in dubai because that I know there'll be moments where I can be alone and be quiet. Sightseeing for me would be too much because I do love some quiet moments. What do you want to do when you retire? I don't know. Be a good parent? I don't know. Um, what is your ideal date? horseback riding followed by dinner prepared by your date or dinner out at a romantic restaurant followed by oh the first one horseback riding followed by dinner prepared by my date definitely definitely any day give us your best karaoke experience like do i have to sing it i have to sing it um <laughs> okay um oh chandelier by sia so Body girls, don't get hurt, can't feel anything. Wow, I learned now. Push it down, push it down. Forgot the words. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. Pour them back till I get done. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. From the chandelier. I'm going to stop there because I'm not nervous. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What is your favorite Disney movie, Hannah Montana? I would still watch it. I would still watch it till today. Um, what's the cheapest pickup line you've <laughs> ever heard? All I remember is I was like at the wall and the person was saying something, so I wasn't focusing on what he was saying. I was just I didn't understand what was going on. So I can't I can't remember it but it, psh, it was pathetic. I still remember who you are. I'm not going to mention it but it was pathetic. Um what is the best present you've ever received? Hmm. A dress. It, it was it was a dress. It was the whole moment and then receiving the dress. So did you ever sleep with stuff? Yes. Yes, yes, I still I mean, I've slept with stuffed animals. So yes, yes, I have. Have you ever been discriminated against? No. No, I... Huh, that's a good question. Discrimination is... There are different aspects of discrimination, so... I want to think of being a female. Have I ever been discriminated because I'm female? No, no. I don't even think I'd allow that to happen. But no. If you could change your name to anything, what would you pick? I love my name. I love my name. I love my name. But probably something exotic or something really cheesy. But I love my name, so I, I can't really answer that. Can we go with Sunflower? If I have to like give an answer, Sunflower. When was the last time you voted? Um, like election-wise, I've never voted. Um, for like random competitions like Zico Moawot or something recently, so yeah. Um, what is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Mm, nobody i hope that no one gets offended but it is the feet the feet for a chicken <laughs> <What>? but, <laughs> I'm, 
<laughs> that's the weirdest thing for me not because it's not nice guys i'm very mm, it was it was great but oh my no mm, weird um if you had a warning sign on your forehead <laughs> what would it stay away from me i can be toxic who was the best teacher you ever had Mr. Munyandi, I still love that man till today, or or my history teacher, I'm, but Mr. Munyandi. When you walk into a room, do you want to be noticed or pre, or do you prefer to blend in? Blend in. Blend in. Oh, I don't like being the center of attention. I get mad anxiety. I, oof, no. What fictional character do you relate with? Harley Quinn, the Joker. Or Harley Quinn or Raven, but mostly Harley Quinn or the Joker, one <laughs> of the two, or SpongeBob. What or who can you stare at and nobody? Mm, no, I can't stare at anybody endless. I fail to make eye contact, I don't like it. I, I try to avoid no, mm, mm -mm, nobody. What roots do you think are made to be broken? All roots, and I say this because. Um, society definitely puts up norms, but for new things to have come about to be where we are today, the people who are considered weird, they had to break those rules, so rules are meant to be broken. That's just my opinion. Every thesis creates an antithesis. What celebrities have you met? This is a very sad question. Nobody. Nobody. <sighs> lame I'm lame what is your favorite flower it is the sunflower I feel like you guys should read a lot about sunflowers but one cool thing is that um, when there's no Sun they turn to each other like sunflowers actually turn to each other and the coolest quote about sunflowers was if I can remember it accurately if roses tried to be sunflowers they would lose their beauty but if and if sunflowers tried to be roses they would lose their strength so read on sunflowers this has been not so secret thank you for watching this episode i am tahila Tashani, aka sunflower bye for now